I would explain the pro bono clinic as an opportunity for community members with a neurological disability and or disorder to come in and receive not only treatment, but help in guiding them through some of the medical processes that they may not have access to. The people in the community that we reach out to, they don't have a lot of insurance or they don't have a lot of resources to turn to. So that's where pro bono really has an opportunity to shine and like show up for these people. And we started with one patient back in 2012 and four to six PT students and it's grown like crazy. Pro Bono Clinic is actually one of the reasons why I decided to come to UW-Madison, getting to see patients every week. I'm not gonna say it's more fulfilling than sitting in class all day, but it is a little bit more fulfilling than sitting in class all day. Every patient, I kind of view as a teacher, like they are their own master in what their situation is, how their health is. And one of the reasons the patients will tell you they get better is because they don't wanna let the students down. Get up there, get up there, you gotta get there. That's one of the things that really inspires me about the patients at Pro Bono is that they work hard because they want to see us succeed. So just to get somebody's confidence and trust in you that you will be able to keep them safe is a really powerful experience. When I think about the Wisconsin idea, the pro bono clinic is right in the heart of it. I have the opportunity to take what I learned inside the classroom and then apply it to a client, and then they can give me their automatic feedback. The opportunity to apply what you're learning right away, and then apply what you're learning right away in a way that's not artificial, but that's really helping a person, it increases their confidence going out. A lot of pro bono clinics are walk-in clinics. You have a problem, you come in, they figure out what's going on, give you something, and you leave, and that's it. Ours is different. We do that evaluation, and then we keep working with them every week for the semester, and some people for the year, and for some people for a couple years. In the past, in the beginning, my leg movement was very weak, and I needed support on, on both sides. But then, slowly, after a year, year and a half, it was, it reduced to one person. Then, then it was completely, no person was required to hold. Being able to work with patients on their independence and seeing their confidence grow like throughout the session, it makes me feel good, but it also makes me realize that like we actually do have an impact, that our patients are improving. I am doing it based on the judgment years back versus now, and I think that I am constantly have been improving. Pro Bono has given me an opportunity to make a couple mistakes, learn from them, and create a confidence in myself that means that I can treat patients. And I've seen really good students walk away because they forgot, why am I going through all this? They went into it to make a difference. Come on, you got it, you got it. I think the most important thing I've taken away outside of the, the clinic is just to reiterate how important it is for physical therapists to provide pro bono services. It is a need in all communities. It's something that we have the ability to do and I think it's awesome that we're kind of instilling or installing those values in students now that hopefully they continue that throughout their practice. I think it's important for any professional or maybe any human being to understand that you're part of a bigger community. And whether you're a student or you're a full-blown professional, there's so much we can give back. And if we give back, then there's one less little hole. <laughs>